time here at Bangkok's Phung Tep Api Wat Station, which used to be known as Bang Su Grand Station. And that is the new station that's serving Bangkok, taking over from the much loved Hua Long Pong Station. And today I'm here at about 6 p.m. because I'm going on the night train, the sleeper train, all the way to Chiang Mai. One way of arriving here is to get the Blue Line train, that's the MRT line, and you can get that from places like Asso, Sukhumvit, and you can arrive here and then come upstairs to the main station. Going to Chiang Mai, there's various services that you can use, but the one that leaves at 6.40 p.m. uses the newer rolling stock, and the first carriage in there is for first-class passengers. Unfortunately, that sells out really quickly, so I'm in the second class, which is what comprises most of the train. And you do get a seat that transforms into a bunk for the night. And you can either get the lower bunk or the upper berth. And they're approximately the same price, around 900 baht or 1000 baht, depending on whether you go in the upper bunk or the lower bunk. But now you can book 90 days in advance, either by going into any railway station in Thailand or by using the app, the D-Ticket app, as I did, or by going on the website, and I'll leave the website address in the description below. And first of all, when you arrive, you need to head for gate four. I believe trains going to and from Chiang Mai go normally from platforms one and two. So there's an indicator board, which you can just about see behind me. The good news is it's written in Thai language, but also in English language. You can probably hear in the background, that there is announcements both in Thai and English. And I went to the information desk as well and they were most helpful and they spoke perfect English there. And if you're going on any long distance train or particularly if you're going on an overnight train, it's gonna be a good idea to stock up with some food. I'm going on train number nine, which is the newer rolling stock, the CNR train. And I need to head over to zone B boy, zone B to get a train to Chiang Mai. Now obviously one of the fantastic things about getting the overnight train is if all goes according to plan, you will arrive in Chiang Mai at about seven o'clock in the morning and you'll have an hour or so where hopefully it'll be light and you should get some nice views from the train carriages. Well, let's find out. So the train is ready for boarding about 15 minutes before departure time. You can see what a big station this is, 250,000 square meters. It makes it the biggest station in the whole of Southeast Asia. And there's train staff making sure you go to the right carriage. You do have numbered tickets. And then inside the carriage, you'll see the seat where you are meant to sit. There's a complimentary bottle of water. There's a reading light. Importantly, there's a PowerPoint with every seat. And bang on time, the train leaves from Bangkok. The first thing they do is bring around a menu for breakfast. So you do need to pre-order. There's a good selection of things there, both Western style and Thai. And then in something like a military operation, the train staff make up the beds. It's only about 30 minutes into the journey time. I took the opportunity to go down to the bathroom area, which is at the end of each carriage. There's a urinal, also a sit down toilet, two wash basins and a mirror. By the time I got back into the carriage, the bed was made up. There's a curtain to draw across for privacy. The conductors come round and check your ticket or QR code one more time. Not sure what they'd say if you're on the wrong train, but nevertheless. And inside you can use the reading light. This being Thailand, it's only a matter of minutes before someone comes round and tries to sell you some food that you don't really want, but you eat it anyway. And then fairly early on, I'm walking down the carriage. Everyone's drawn across the curtains and is ready for sleep. During the night, you do stop at a few stations and no smoking and no alcohol anywhere on the train. And then they wake you up at about five o'clock in the morning. So there's someone looking fairly bleary eyed. And about 5.30, they bring you your breakfast. It might be the first time I've eaten hot chicken and cold French fries for breakfast, but the pineapple was good. That was refreshing. And they also bring you a lovely hot cup of coffee. If you want to know what progress you're making, there's televisions in each of the coaches. And then looking out of the window, the sun's coming up and there's some beautiful views to be had. 
I still need a bit more sleep and I must recommend using earplugs and an eye mask. Even better would be to bring along some noise cancelling headphones and your favourite Spotify tracks. But as we get towards Chiang Mai, the views are absolutely fantastic. And the train arrived on time. So I've just arrived at Chiang Mai station. The train arrived on time. It's 7.15 in the morning. It's quite a cool 19 degrees at the moment, which is a bit cooler than it was back in Bangkok 13 hours ago. What do I think? First impressions of the journey. Well, the service on the train was good. You've got the bed there. It's not the most comfortable bed. You can see that I'm not the tallest person in the world, but the bed is only about six feet long. So if you're taller than me, which most people are, you might find that a little bit cramped. And the ride itself isn't the smoothest or indeed the quietest. One thing that I would recommend is I did take the eye mask and the earplugs and that helped as well to speed me on my way. Woken up in the morning at about 5.30, it was getting light. There were some nice views from the window and also one of the best cups of coffee that I've had delivered to my seat together with a hot breakfast. So all in all, an excellent trip. So these are the red songtail that you will be greeted by when you go to the station. And although on the side of it, it says that it's 30 baht per person, I think you'll find if you're trying to get to a hotel directly from the station, they might ask for more than that. One way to avoid it is that Bolt does operate in Chiang Mai now. So order yourself a Bolt and you know what you're gonna pay in advance. So before I went on the train, I was looking on the internet for advice. People said it might be really cold on there. Take a jumper, take a sweater. Actually, I have to say that I found that it was a little bit warm to start with and then it was fairly okay during the night. I certainly wasn't cold, I'll tell you that. The air conditioning works very well on that train and there's no smell, it's nice and fresh, it's nice and new. So I do recommend train number nine, which is the new rolling stock, because even in second class, it's quite comfortable. The bathrooms are clean. Maybe the most important thing is the train arrived on time and I'm here now. I'm gonna go and have a shower and a shave and freshen up. I hope you enjoyed that video about how to get a train overnight sleeper to Chiang Mai. That's all from me for this video. Hope to bring you another video about travel around Thailand very soon, but for now, see you next time. Bye bye.